All right, welcome back. It's Babylonia State back, and I have done a lot of work offline. Basically, I added all of the implementation for all of these books except for cameras. Now, since I didn't include that in the video, I'm gonna show what all of these blocks do. Uh, also, I actually haven't added washer now that I remember. If you've been keeping track with the Discord channel, of the vlog then you can just skip to where I'm actually going to implement new things because this is something I've already demonstrated there. So we have all the different uh, seeds over here, right? We got couches, we got lamps, uh, these are the same lamps, they just look different but I'm still gonna get them. So this is a chair, you can sit on it. Uh, of course, now these are benches basically. You can sit on them and they can also extend horizontally. Now, couches can also extend horizontally and also extend like this. Now, maybe not like this because it, it becomes weird, but so you can make something like this. You can make a corner over here. It's pretty useful. And our lamps are just your, your normal lamps. Let me get a table uh, so that you can see better. So here is your lamp. Of course, it emits light. You have the, I mean, this lamp, which looks like this on the inside. Oh yeah. And then you have the this lamp that has this very nice look uh, then you have ladders you have these which are uh, rising doors you have pipes radiators padlock and then different keys so ladders they have like extended stop so you can place them like this so now you can right click a ladder, you need to be close enough, So and you, you're gonna start climbing and descending using WNS. Pressing shift will detach you. Now if you're high enough and there is space in front of you, you're going to be teleported. So it uh, should be pretty easy to navigate. Now, rising doors, they can be opened and closed of course. They can unite, combine. Of, of course, you can't go through them when they're closed. Uh, you can combine them for as long as you want to. Like this. Uh, then you have pipes and radiators. So, to demonstrate this, I'm gonna locate biome. So, in here, if I were to place a radiator somewhere like this, like here, Whenever I activate it, it's going to melt down things. So you can notice that it doesn't melt snow completely, but like half of it. And with some random period of time, it's going to crack down the ice and snow around it. You can also build pipes. So if I build a pipe over here, Now pipes can only be connected in one way. Now padlocks, for this I'm gonna grab a door. Now it works with any door, of course. You can uh, place a door like this or the other way, so the handle in either direction. Of course it can, be, can also be in here in either direction, like north, south, etc. So you hold shift and you right click. Like this. Now, by default, it will need you to set the key. So, for example, this one is going to be yellow. This one is going to be green. You can see it over here. And this one is going to be blue, and this one also yellow, I guess. So, now you can't unlock it. Now, even if you try to hit it from anywhere, from inside either, but if you right click with the key, it will work. So, this, for example, 
Look, it won't work. I need green. Here I need yellow. And here I need blue. So it's a pretty simple padlock. It, it disappears once you unlock it. Because this is the purpose of this particular block. So now time to actually add these things. What it means is that the translation of this block is missing. Which is something I'm gonna fix later. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really bother me right now. Also, I've, I got I'm sick. if that's not obvious by my voice. So we can place monitor, monitors right now. The problem is that their hitbox is generic, so it's just a huge box, which isn't something that we want. So now inside of the data bag, instead of block, I'm going to create a new directory. And I'll, go, I'll go ahead and call it a security monitor, followed by place. So this is what's going to be called whenever you try to place it. So now if I reload, it looks perfect. I mean, it, it, it doesn't match it exactly, but it, I don't care that it, it shouldn't. Now it's important that it's actually going to be inside of the wall, but there's something that a player shouldn't see under any circumstances. So you can see the animation over here and now there is a monitor. Now time to do the camera. So if I place a camera, it's just the generic view. It's not actually going to spin and that's something I don't like, so... Uh, I'm going to actually modify this camera. So in my script I can just say Babylonius block then the name so surveillance camera and i can apply block state so let's say i'm gonna want it to be a stand i need to provide that i want it not to be rotated so just like this <coughs> now if i place it again you can see that it's only the stand because this is the only static static part So now if I reload, uh, it's a giant item frame, and now it's fixed I think, I'm not entirely sure why it was, it doesn't ex work like this way, but I don't really care. So now we have these two parts separately, and this means that we can actually spin, the, so spin this part. As you can see it's rotated and we can rotate it around so it looks like it's spectating and of course it's going to actually spectate now besides that i also want to be able to watch this camera so i want to like sit in here and spectate it now there is an unfortunate thing and that is that in minecraft the spectating command is pretty broken so it's buggy so if I do something like spectate something, you can see that it works, but if I were in another dimension or if I were teleported, then it would just break. I would like spectate, yet it would act like I'm not spectating, like it's very weird and because of that I can actually implement them the way I want them to be. So I think the only solution to that weird bug that Mojang haven't fixed yet and will probably not fix anytime soon is to uh, have the player just be constantly teleported in front of the camera it will not have any like cool shading effect I'm gonna show you the shading effect that I'm talking about this is the shaders that I uh, made for this this like, looks like you're watching camera it's a lot lighter than it used to be because the previous effect was uh, causing like FPS drops to like one FPS on computers without GPU. Uh, people who use uh, integrated graphics. So I decided to make it lighter, but I guess I'll just not use it until they fix that bug. So I'll just teleport it. Uh, 
So <laughs> the wrong thing is spinning, but it is spinning. Now I can see that this part is spinning, or it's spinning way too much, and also it's a little laggy. Now I can actually fix the lagginess inside of place over here. Now I'm not able to do this in all of the versions, so that's why I'm going to add an actual overlay over here. So this is a preprocessor that I wrote, which I can say overlay. So I only want to add something if, if the version is 1.20.2 and after i want to run a command and it's going to be data modify entity this set a teleport duration to something like three so now if i place it you can see that it's a lot smoother it's actually not jittery anymore so for older versions it's going to still be stuttering which isn't something that i can fix but for the versions that i am on it's going to be fixed over here I need to make sure that it stops over there and turns around. So now I should be able to place it and it should work, so it will spin, yeah it stops, it stops at around 90 degrees and then goes the other way and I mean it's pretty slow but I guess it's good. Now the reason this thing works is because if I were to abstract the camera over here, you can see that it's going to switch over here, it's not quite 90 degrees but it's close, so it's only looks at free area so if i were to abstract it like this yeah it's barely able to move so it's going to adjust to which from side to side so yeah, this is perfect now i need to be able to spectate this camera now before i can spectate it i need to connect it to the monitor and actually make so that you can connect to the monitor now uh, the way I think it's best to do it is that if you right click the camera with the monitor it should just uh, link it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Maybe something useful, so for example name. So we can check that the item is a security monitor checking this path. Now if we check, take a look at the properties, there is nothing, but if I, but if I reload and right click, it has the name saying that the security monitor, we have the location, overworld, and then the coordinates, and then the ID. Now what I'm gonna do now is I will place another camera over here. And I'll add another monitor. I'll rename this one to Coroner. So if I register it, if I check the properties, it says that the name is Coroner, which is exactly what I need. Now I can place it over here, hopefully, and be able to connect. So that's what we're going to do now. And we have the camera. So if, the, if it doesn't have camera, it needs to set the block state to offline. Now, if I place the monitor, 
because it works. So I'm going to keep the first two slots for connected monitors, and this one isn't connected. So if I place it, it will say that it's not linked to a camera yet. Now maybe it's also good to add like some kind of title on like on the top or the bottom to like see the name of the camera. Of course now you need to be able to actually right click uh, to see it. So let's do just that. So if I try this, you can see that it copied my name, so you can see PBFH over there. Right, so now if I go into the end, and even if I leave, so I unload all of the chunks, I can press shift, come back, it will remove my armor stand, and it will reload everything. So it looks like the cameras work now. Okay, hopefully some other people will test to make sure that it actually works. That's, that's about it for now.